unsung hero is based on the true story of an Australian couple who lose everything in a bad business deal and quickly realize that the holidays will look very different for their family of nine. Take a look. <laughs> they always have the funniest little knickknacks to put in all the stockings. Mm. Yeah. Matt? Oh, honey, you're, uh, you're not going to find much of this here. Please welcome back to our table former co-host, Candace Cameron Bure. Are you copied my hair? No, I did. Well, I was playing a real person. Right. Me too. Yeah. Who also copied your hair? <laughs> yes, yes. Well, but I understand that con congratulations yeah, are already your son. Your son, Lev, is that how you say his yeah, name? Yeah, Lev. He got married. So now you're. Oh, my wow. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my God, he yeah. was a little boy was last so time. I know. So now I you're know. somebody's mother-in-law. I'm a mother-in-law, yeah. <laughs> wow. And I love my daughter-in-law. She's oh, so beautiful. Great. And I love her family. Yeah. I mean, that's like that's, what you that's hope everything. and dream and pray for, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so it was one of the best. Their wedding was one of the best days of my life. Oh, how, oh. how old is he now? He's 24. Oh, 24. Yeah. 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 Wow. So he was a kid when you left. It was like, yeah. what, 10 years ago? Yeah. yeah. It was he a was kid. Absolutely. And now all my kids are in their 20s. Oh, my wow. God. Wow. Well, How's Val? Up. How's the, the Russian husband? Oh, he's good. <laughs> he's <laughs> real good. And your daughter? She's Natasha. <laughs> Natasha's still singing. Oh. Natasha's <laughs> acting. She's doing her thing. She's great. And my, my youngest son, Max, is fantastic, too. Max he's learning to be 20s? a winemaker. Yes. Oh. He's a oh, winemaker. Wine they they wine. have a great vineyard. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've uh, tasted. When your family's <laughs> in wine, you stay in the vineyard. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But your new movie is based on the true story of the Smallbone family, mm -hmm. who, who's behind the Grammy winners Rebecca St. James and For King and Country, who performed yes. here on our show yes. with your daughter Natasha yeah. for your 40th birthday. Oh. One of the best days of my life. I know. That was a, I, I was re watching that clip. It's, it's <laughs> amazing. But you're also an ex executive producer on the film. Yeah. What made you want to bring their story uh, to the big screen? Yeah, it's an incredible. I formed a friendship with Joel and Luke and the whole Smallbone family because of the show when they performed uh, for my birthday. So they are an incredible family and th they are so talented, won so many Grammys, and yet I never knew their humble beginnings. Mm -hmm. And they share that story on stage at their concerts. Mm -hmm. And when they came and um, shared the script with me and I heard their story, it's unbelievable. Yeah. So they are a family of seven kids. They, their dad was a, a very well-known uh, music producer in Australia. And he lost everything after a deal went bad. Yeah. And they moved to the US, they immigrated here and had absolutely nothing, like a jar of a few dollars. And so the story is how, it's, a, it's about miracles, it's about the unsung hero who in my, view from this movie is their mom, Helen, who really kept the pieces together of their family while their dad, David, who Joel Smallbone is actually playing his dad in the movie. Oh. He, but you know, he just couldn't catch a break and yet they made their life an adventure. And one of the best lines in the film is, your family isn't in the way, your family it's is the way. way. And so it's a really uplifting, beautiful, beautiful story. And I'm so proud to have produced the movie and be a part of it, be a part of their yeah. story and journey, and then share it on the big screen. It, so it's out in two weeks. It really is a special movie. I saw it last night. Mm. I got a little teary-eyed, and I don't really get teary-eyed. <laughs> uh, I, I thought what was really interesting about the movie was the neighbors yeah. and their church community and how yeah. they came, they showed up for yeah. them. I think that's so important. We're missing a lot of that in, yeah. in, in the, the country. Yeah, they were the hands and feet. You know, they, they were, were a praying family they prayed for everything they actually had more real-life miracles 
in their life that we could show in the movie because it almost felt inauthentic to show that many miracles. But it was the and community. They had prayer wall. They had it the was, prayer wall. It was, it was the community that were the hands and feet of Jesus. Yeah, it was, it was prayers. It was, I thought it was fantastic. Um, now, this Thank is the you. first role. You're welcome. This is the first role um, that you've played that's based on a real person, which I didn't yeah. realize. You get to rock some really good <laughs> 90s fashion and Joyce I did. hair. Joyce hair. Um, in I the film. Joyce hair. So, wh <laughs> what was it like to go back in time? It was it was really fun. I mean, I had green eyeshadow and green mascara, like all the things, oh. and the clothing was really fun. But I was glad. It's so weird because when I think of 30 years ago, I think it's the 70s. Yeah, right. Yes. It's not. But it's it's not. the 90s. Yeah. It's the 90s. Thanks. But I was kind of yeah. like um, glad that it wasn't DJ Tanner. It was, yeah. you know, because I was an, you know, a 40-something oh, wow. year old, a 40-something yeah. year old in the 90s. So it was pretty cool. And Kay is such a lovely, bright bubbly, funny woman in yeah. real life. So it was pretty cool to play her. Well, you grew up as a child actor on sets and there's been a lot of scrutiny around that, um, especially with the release of the Quiet On Set docu-series mm -hmm. that showcase some of the abuses and the things that can happen. Were you able to see and what did you make of it? I watched uh, the first few episodes of it. It absolutely tore me apart. It oh, broke my yeah. heart it, and it was so, it's so tragic, it's so, um, it's horrific and disgusting. Yeah. Um, I'm, I was very, I don't, I don't think proud is the right word, but I was, um, I just felt like the, the, fa the fact that Drake was able to share his story yeah. was so brave. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, but my heart breaks for him, my heart broke for his parents mm. in um, trying to protect and not always seeing the signs. So, you know, it's a weird thing, the industry growing up as a kid, because like, I didn't have that experience. I know the other girls from our show didn't have that experience. And there's lots of child actors that don't have that experience. But we know there's a good plenty that have. Yeah. Yeah. And so I really think that it was good. Um, it's just more awareness mm -hmm. that we can protect the next generation yeah. from that happening. Mm. Yeah. The parents need to be around, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Well, yeah, Candace, absolutely. The parents absolutely. were around. Was that your those. Was that your experience? My parents were always around. Yeah. They yeah. were so protective. Yeah. Well, that's what which, counts. That yeah. helps. Candace, on a happier note, yes. you see what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> you are doing something else. Amongst all the things you're doing uh, at this point in your life, you are learning how to sing, and you've been documenting <laughs> it on social <laughs> media. Why was that something so you wanted to silly. do? You know what? I have a podcast. This is like a little sidebar <laughs> podcast. But I ended up interviewing this woman, Tara Simon, who is a very famed music uh, teacher. <laughs> Teaches on like, you know, all, all of the big singing shows. And she challenged me while I was interviewing because I said, oh, I can't sing. And she goes, I could teach right. you to sing. And I'm like, I, I really can't sing. <laughs> and she said, I, I will, I will so give you lessons. So how's it going? Where's your, how's your singing going? I'm still pretty terrible. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, she has, I've improved. And there is, you oh. can learn to sing. I believe it now that you can. Yeah. I just have to put more work and effort. But what if it. you don't have the voice? The chops. That's what I the said. I don't capacity. think, I know. Listen, here's my goal, Joy. When yeah. I have to sing in my next Christmas movie, yeah. I just want to be com like comfortable. Yeah. yeah. I don't, yeah. I just don't want to sound like well, they terrible. can enhance it a little on television. <laughs> oh my gosh, let the girl sing. But um, <laughs> you also recently opened up uh, no. in an emotional no. episode of the podcast. Can, do we not have time? Go ahead, quickly. Okay, quickly. quickly. Yeah. About it's depression, hard. about battling yeah. depression and mental health issues, and, yeah. and what made you want to share that? You know, I love the format of my podcast. I deep dive on one topic for an entire season. So I have one, one oh. co-host, and we do 14 episodes for a season. And we're talking about emotions, untangling them, and one of the topics was sadness and depression. And I'm, I'm a very open, honest person. I think you guys know that. I probably overshare. <laughs> and the, the episode on sadness, I shared publicly about my struggle with depression. I've never shared that. I think it's probably surprised a lot of people. It was a very vulnerable place for me, but. Mm. I did not know that about you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so, for sharing. Yeah. It's gonna help a lot Thank of people. You. Thanks. Yeah. Was that when you were younger? Or now? Um, from my 20s up until now. You don't really... We, Tell her it, to listen to the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A, where yeah. can she listen to the podcast? Like where can you yeah, where can podcast? What's it called? Her name. Name. My name. Just her name. Yeah, and anywhere you listen to your podcasts. <laughs> Out of the That's millions it. of podcasts out there. Anyway, thanks for coming by. Yeah, it was great to see you. Uh, thanks to Canvas Cameron Beret. I'm some hero. I was in theater for 26 years.